Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective. And today we are back with the T530. And this is actually a video that will apply to a variety of different ThinkPad designs. Uh, not just this one, but it is one that this is kind of the opportunity I've had to talk about it, and that is actually the Ultra Bay. So many ThinkPads and some of their docking stations have what is referred to as an Ultra Bay. Now the Ultra Bay serves a variety of functions, but the primary one that we know it as is simply a CD or DVD ROM drive. And it functions exactly the way you'd expect. You can press the button, you can eject the disk, and you can use uh, these uh, for optical media. Now, we are in the year 2018, and I don't know about you, but I don't really use laptops that have optical media drives anymore, and I'm not really inconvenienced by this. If I really need it, I have an external one that I can use for USB, but we're kind of getting to the time where optical media is becoming uh, a legacy support thing. Many people are doing, and what you might want to do as well, is they're actually using the Ultra Bay for its secondary function. And to do that, you will need a kit, something like this one, that I picked up off of Amazon for about 12 Canadian dollars. And inside this kit, we're going to have a couple of pieces that are very bright blue. I don't know if that's coming up on the camera very well that are, are going to allow us to do some very neat things with this particular machine. So inside here, we've got a little card, a screwdriver, and a cutout that's going to look very hard drive shaped, in fact. And what we're actually going to be able to do is turn this into a secondary drive bay, but it gets even better than that. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's go ahead and quickly do the installation of this drive into this bay. All right, so this particular product is coming from Q9. Found it on Amazon. There's a nice little detailed card here. If you've got any questions, you can drop them a line at Hotmail, which is pretty neat. But hey, if their stuff is good, their stuff is good. So inside the box, we have the actual drive bay itself and of course a screwdriver, which is always handy just in case you don't have a screwdriver. So once the drive has been pushed into position, we can just flip it over, take the included screwdriver and spin these in. Really, I would only suggest that you need to do this until you hit that little bit of resistance. You wouldn't have to actually put these in too terribly far. It's not like I'm really concerned about uh, the drive flying out of the bay. Anyway, that's uh, more than enough. And depending on your drive allowances, you might have a bit of a gap, but this isn't going to move. And of course, there's installation uh, instructions on this side, including some handling information along the left. So it is pretty straightforward in terms of how you install the unit, and there is even a hard drive access light right there. Now, in terms of actually putting this in, this is what's actually called a hot swappable bay. Now, what that means is, is that you can actually eject not only the disk, but you can also eject the entire unit. So let me show you how you would do that. In the system tray, like you would have uh, for USB, there is going to be the option to eject this media. Now, in my case, I have two options. The first is uh, ejecting the DVD drive. The other is this option right here. One option will actually eject physically the disk, and that's not necessarily what we want. What we actually want to do is temporarily remove this drive. So to illustrate this better, what I'm also going to have open while I'm doing this, and I'm just going to make a couple of uh, brightness adjustments here, is I'm going to have my computer open so you can see what exactly is happening uh, with the drive itself. So on the screen here, we have drive D as our burner. And what we are going to do is choose the top option. And you'll notice that the drive has completely disappeared, and we actually have the message that says it's safe to remove the hardware. Now, on this unit, it's a little bit uh, tricky to do this 
uh, with any degree of finesse. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn the unit over. And I'll just adjust my camera here ever so slightly. And we have this fellow. And then just above it, we have a lock catch. So what you have to do, and this is a little easier on the T430 I found, is we're going to pull the lock catch back, and then we're going to press up, and that'll actually eject the drive bay, and we can just go ahead and pull that straight up and out. And then of course, here is our Lenovo drive. And what we're going to do instead is we're going to take our solid state drive, but this could be any two and a half inch, all right, so the drive has been dropped in. We've got a blue light. Windows is making all sorts of sounds, so let's check out what's going on there. And lo and behold, let me adjust a couple of settings here. We have uh, some system reserved space and also local disk E. And we can go in here and immediately access the files that are on this drive. So this also happens to be another Windows install drive. I haven't formatted it yet. haven't really decided what to do there. So as you can see, we've got uh, immediate access to another drive. So if you have, say, a backup that you want to keep and you want to do regular backups but you don't want the external hardware, you can actually just drop the drive in, run a backup program of your choice, and once you're again done and ready to switch back, all you need to do is go here and it will show the drive, which is a Drevo X1 120 gigabyte. We can eject it, it's then gone. We can uh, flip the unit over, do the same uh, kind of catch release system here. Again, I'll adjust so you can see what's going on with that. Pull the catch back. coax it up and out. This is very stiff the first time around, but that's I'd rather have it stiff than loose. That can come out. You can take this, put it back, and there you have it. Our, our drive is back. So ladies and gentlemen, this is an excellent feature of ThinkPads that is not often talked about, but really if you are going to be running one of these machines in kind of a modern era, I highly recommend picking up one of these very uh, inexpensive pieces. It's a $12 part and it really expands the capability of what you're able to do with the larger ThinkPad models that do have the Ultra Bay drive. Uh, again, you can put any 2.5 inch drive in here, hot swappable, very safe to do, highly efficient, uh, really expands your capabilities. You can have different drives, you can even buy several of these and uh, have each operating system that you might want to boot from. Really the possibilities are endless. And again, great versatility here. So if this is the sort of content that you enjoy and the stuff that you like to learn about, I'd highly recommend that you like the video. You're sharing this with people that want to learn more necessarily about computers or ThinkPads and some of the expandability that is available even back in you know 2011 and 12 when these things were being developed for the very first time. And as always, uh, if you want to uh, kind of take that next step in showing your support, subscribing really does indeed help the channel. It widens my audience, it helps me help more people, and of course there is that support that I also get that I can, you know, buy things like this to show you on the channel that I believe that are truly worth your time. With that being said, I'll see you next time, and in the meantime, I hope you learned something today.